The Yamaha R3 Blue Crew European Cup roared back into life in Motorland Aragon last weekend. With no less than four of the top ten from last year's inaugural season making the step up to World Championship competition in the Supersport 300 class, the SBK roadway is already beginning to bear fruit and several new names complete the class of 22. In total, 24 riders from 10 different nationalities were on the grid for the season opening Aragon Round. One of the series' more experienced men, the number 72, Yere Ruiz, who raced in Supersport 300 last year, took pole by an eye-watering one-and-a-half second margin. But although he did convert it into the race one win, he was challenged throughout by the 39 of Enzo Valentim, the 17-year-old from Sao Paulo, starting strongly and making smooth progress from the second row of the grid to lead early on. European number four Maxim Repak, still aged just 15, won three races in the series last year on board the number 16 and is sure to be among the front runners again in 2022. The Slovenian stuck with the lead group early on in race one, but later dropped back to seventh. His error at the start of lap six bunched up the pack behind him and enabled the top two to break clear of the slipstream, setting up a one-on-one -on -one race for victory and a nine-rider fight behind for third. That secondary group thinned with two laps to go as the lone Australian in the field, 15-year-old Archie McDonald, crashed out as the odd man out when the pack went four abreast back into Turn 1. Devis Bergamini was the next rider to take up the challenge in the battle for a place on the podium, scything his way through on the number 13 from 6th to 3rd, and that was where he stayed, quite incredibly remaining in front of the train even down Motorland's 965-metre back straight. Gustavo Manso did well to recover from 15th on the grid to run as high as 4th on the number 80 entering the final lap, but he ran out of room into turn 14 and could only rejoin for 13th. Up at the front, Yere Ruiz proved irrepressible, timing his move on Enzo Valentim to perfection at the end of the back straight to steal the first victory of the campaign by just over a quarter of a second. Positions 3 to 10, meanwhile, were covered by less than a second over the line, a strong omen for another entertaining season ahead. Yes, uh, the race is uh, very difficult. Uh, uh, I'm very happy for, for the first position. Uh, <laughs> OK, thank you very much and congratulations. Brighter and warmer conditions greeted the riders four hours later for race two. Yere Ruiz, the favourite, after impressing in the opener. It was a similar start. Maxim Repak pushing hard in the early running. Ruiz again finding himself in close combat with race one rival Enzo Valentim. And it appeared that, just as in the morning, the top two would escape away to duel for the win. Maxim Repak ran wide coming off the final turn of lap two, was swallowed up by the pack behind and half a second of daylight opened up behind the two leaders. But a lap later, Ruiz's forceful move for top spot slowed the pair, while 17-year-old Brazilian Gustavo Manso surged to the front of the pack behind, completing another excellent recovery from 15th on the grid and down the start-finish straight, bringing a train of nine riders with him. Having shared the lead places in all but one of the first seven laps over the line, Ruiz and Valentin were finally relegated back with two to go. Devis Bergamini surging forward from fifth to first. And just as he did in race one for third, the Italians set about defending from the pack behind, seeing them off down the 630 metre start finish straight and even getting some daylight behind him coming off turn two. That didn't last long either, of course. Indonesia's lone representative, the number 89, Weihu Nugroho, coming past the lead with 26, Kevin Fontena, another newcomer to the series, following him through. Points leaders Reith and Valentin were at one stage relegated to sixth and eighth, but both made progress from there. Reith hit the front off turn 15 on the final lap, and although he couldn't resist the slipstream, he rode strongly enough to hold on for another podium. Devis Bergamini timed his move to perfection and charged from fourth to first to claim the win. And the final drama was reserved for Kevin Fontena. Fifth and stuck on the outside going into the final two turns, the number 26 built up his speed, capitalised on a mid-bend bobble for Andrea Pizzoli and carried his momentum into second, just nine thousandths of a second behind winner Bergamini. 
Pizzoli appeared to cross the line third, but was penalised for exceeding track limits on the final lap. Less than half a second covered the top ten at the finish, just over two hundredths between the podium trio. After third and fourth place finishes in race one, Bergamini and Fontena finish one and two in race two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, incredible race, I'm very happy uh, again on the podium this weekend. What a day. Uh, I thank my family, my team, my sponsors that support me and uh, see you in the next race in uh, Assen. The only two riders to evade both podiums in Motorland Aragon, Bergamini and Ruiz, lead the points heading to Assen in less than two weeks' time for the second of seven rounds in the 2022 Yamaha R3 Blue Crew European Cup.